Hi, my name is uh, Randy Barr. I'm the Chief Security Officer for Qualys. And uh, give a little background about myself. I've actually worked in the uh, cloud environment since uh, 1999, uh, mostly having the responsibility of managing a security program. And uh, back then it wasn't called a cloud environment. It was referred to as on-demand service um, or application service provider, what we know today as software as a service. Um, and it's one of the uh, elements that make up a cloud computing environment. So there's a lot of presentations out there today that's focused on cloud computing, but it's usually focused on a specific topic, and that's related to security or, or how security is bad in a cloud environment. Um, and that's usually coming from an external point of view. A lot of people looking at clouds from the outside. Uh, the presentation or, or the talk that I like to give to you today is more focused on an insider view, a security professional uh, building a security program in a cloud environment and what we have to go through. And the goal is to hopefully give you a better idea that uh, uh, security is actually pretty strong in some of these cloud providers depending on how well they, they manage that and share that information with you. To be able to give you uh, that, that, uh, that, that idea of how secure it is, uh, let me walk you through a process that usually happens, and I'm sure most of you are familiar with this. Uh, usually a cloud user wants to understand the uh, cloud environment first, and, you, and they send a questionnaire out. One of the questionnaires is a security questionnaire, and the questionnaire can be anywhere between under 20 questions to as many as several hundred questions. And depending on the type of response that they're looking for, it could be a yes-no response only, or every single question, regardless of the uh, response that a provider um, inputs, have to have a comment associated with it. So you can imagine how long it would take just to fill out one of those questionnaires alone. Now the questionnaire is given back to the user, who will then review to determine if there's any issues on the response provided. Um, that, in turn, may turn around back to the provider it, with uh, additional questions, clarifying questions, or a request for a review, perform a pen test against the service provider, uh, or actually have a third party, one of the top uh, big four companies, that come out and perform an actual audit. So in any of those cases when it is performed, whether it's a on-site audit, a pen test, or uh, completing a questionnaire, the uh, final draft is sent back to the provider who will come up with a list of gaps. And for the most part, a lot of these questionnaires that uh, make it back to the uh, cloud uh, user has a lot of uh, uh, gaps that uh, they would like the service provider to remediate. Depending on how significant that is to the service provider as far as getting it fixed, um, the cloud provider may choose to implement that fix. Uh, when it comes to implementing fixes or requests from the cloud users, it's in the cloud provider's best interest to not apply that fix just to that one cloud user, but instead roll it out globally to the environment so that all cloud users benefit from it, all the existing cloud users. Now that that's implemented, the cloud user would start using the service. There's one last step that usually goes into this, and that's the continuous auditing part. The cloud user will continue to request for additional information year over year, and that question could be either focused on the previous uh, gaps that were identified that wasn't fixed yet, or a new set of threats that they just learned about and they wanted to see if the uh, company um, came up with a process to remediate those threats or how do they remediate um, um, issues that might be coming up. So giving that view into a security program, there's a lot of uh, implementation when it comes to security. There's not only industry accepted practice that a lot of cloud providers implement within their environment, but in some cases, uh, cloud providers actually go above and beyond some of the standard security implementations. The next time you sit down on another presentation that talks about cloud computing and the security concerns associated with that, uh, think about what we just shared with you today on how much effort goes into the security program at a cloud service provider.